Congratulations, you're the winner. I get to hear those words pretty often, which is why I'm here today to share with you how to be a winner too. It all really comes down to being able to dream, and that's an acronym to keep me on target today, but you can steal it and use it too. The D stands for do the thing, because you can't be a winner if you don't get out there and put yourself into every single contest that you see. If it's text in to win, get your phone ready. If it's count the number of jelly beans in the jar, go ahead and throw your name in. If it's writing an essay for a scholarship or to meet somebody famous, what do you really have to lose? You have to go out there and do the thing if you want to be a winner like me. The second thing you have to keep in mind is to set yourself up for reminders. This is one of the most effective ways to be a winner that I have personally used. For me, it's always with radio contests. You have to tune in at certain times of the day, so I set up my desktop. Whether you use your phone, your tablet, or you set a post-it note on your forehead, however works for you, set those reminders because I guarantee it's going to make you a more effective winner. To go hand in hand with this is email alerts. But to tell you about that, I have to get to point number three, which is to ask the experts. And to do that, I have to tell you a story. You see, in 2015, I found out Masashi Kishimoto was coming to New York Comic Con. I'm a big manga fan, and that's my favorite one is Naruto, the one that he created. So when I found out this news, I knew that I had to be there. So what did I do? I asked the experts. I had never been to a con before. I had no idea what to do, and they gave me two really essential pieces of advice. The first being, set yourself up for reminders. I can do that. So I went and set the reminder up to get my tickets, went to buy them that day, was warned that this is kind of like buying tickets for the Super Bowl, which is to say that they sell out instantly and all the best tickets in the house go first. So you have to be right on time, have all your things ready, and follow the directions to the T. I did all those things. The system completely broke down, and I'm pretty sure it's only by the sheer strength of my willpower alone that I actually got those tickets. But once I had them in hand, I was able to do the thing. So I went back to my experts, and I said, OK, now what do I do? And they said, set yourself up for email alerts. Don't just go through the convention. Also go through all the different vendors that you're interested in, because you never know where the announcements are going to come from for the things that you want to do. So I said, OK, easy enough, pretty practical advice. Set myself up for a couple email alerts. About four months later, I get a little ding on my phone, and there it is, the announcement for the autographing sessions. There were two book signings, one of which had an RSVP here button. So I followed the link, put in my information, had to go back, follow it again, put in my husband's information. Half an hour later, when that press release went live on social media, the event was already sold out. Those email alerts are the reason that I met Masashi Kishimoto. And to give you some perspective, about 170,000 people attended that year. Out of those 170,000 people, about 500 got to meet Masashi Kishimoto and get his autograph. Out of those 500, about 100 to 125 actually had a guaranteed ticket. Everything else was either first come, first serve, or lottery style draw. Congratulations, you're the winner. I have to take a moment here and also tell you about the dark side of winning, because there's always a dark side. And that is when you're the out-of-towner and you have to pay those parking fees. So do yourself a favor and start setting aside your emergency parking fund. You're going to thank me later. Some of these contests I've won have been with less than 24 hours notice. And when you're on the hook for $40 of venue parking, believe me when I say as amazing as it is to meet your idol at a bookstore in Times Square, there's also a little voice in the back of your head telling you, hey, it costs $30 a day to park at the train station. So get that emergency parking fund ready. Beyond that, the best way to be a winner is just to consistently enter every single contest you see, no matter what it is. Some of the contests I've won have been as a complete joke. I won a $20 gift card one time waiting for my pharmacy, uh, my prescription to get filled. There was a count the jelly beans contest. It was around Easter time. So I had nothing better to do for 20 minutes, threw my name in, told the person that was with me, they probably only do this to get your email address. Two days later, I got an email saying, congratulations, you're the winner, come pick up your gift card. There was another occasion where I wrote an essay to be part of a book signing tour with Brandon Sanderson, New York Times bestselling author. 
I filled this out the last 15 minutes of my workday, didn't even have time to spell check it, accidentally hit enter. Two weeks later, I get the notification, congratulations, you've been picked to be part of this book signing. The creme de la creme of my winning, though, is probably an occasion where I won tickets to go see a concert. I visited the radio station booth at the concert and won a CD while I was there. I was the double winner. So it just goes to show you never know when you can be the winner. You just have to put yourself out there. Finally, I have to say, you have to make this an experience. It's not enough to just do the thing, set the reminders, get the email alerts, and set aside your emergency parking fund. If you're not sharing your winnings with the people around you, whether it's somebody that you love, somebody that you work with, if you're going on a blind date and bringing a complete stranger, you have to make it an experience because that's really what's worth remembering. I'm a winner and congratulations. If you follow these directions, you can be too.